Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This week I'm doing a reading challenge. I'm reading all of the books that Dua Lipa has ever recommended. So Dula Peep went to Lizzo's after Grammy party. Du La Huh? You, her name's Dua Lipa. Dula, yeah. But you call her Dula Peep. Dula Peepa. Dula. <laughs> her name's Dua Lipa, but you call her Dula Peep. Dula Peep, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love Dua Lipa. I think she's a great singer, musician. She's really talented. Um, I think that her music is super fun and introspective. And her lyrics are just all about having a good time and relatable. It's great. She's not trying to do anything too serious. She just wants everyone to have a good time. And she seems to be reading a lot on her Instagram stories, at least giving the impression that she's reading a lot. So I thought I would read some of her favorite books. Um, I got really lucky in that a lot of the books she's recommended I've already read before. So those will be easy to talk to. So I'm focusing on three that I'm actually going to read this week, but I'll talk about some more um, at the end. So the first one is The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. I haven't really heard about this book before, but it's won the Pulitzer Prize, so I kind of feel bad that I didn't. But uh, I've heard of this author before, and it's got great reviews. I'm excited to read this one. I don't know too much about what it's about, but we'll see. The other one here is Queenie. This is by Candace Cardi Williams. My friend Danielle gave me this book for my birthday last year, but I hadn't read it yet. So I'm excited that Dua Lipa loves it. And now I'm going to read it. My boyfriend likes to say that Dua Lipa is the blueprint of what pop music is going to be in the next few years. I don't know how much I agree with that statement, but I still think Dua Lipa is great and I love her music and I love listening to it and dancing to it. So another book that I'm going to be reading this week is called The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera. I had a hard time finding this book. It was published quite a while ago, but I have some audiobook credits that I'm going to redeem to listen to this one. So that's my focus this week is these two books plus the audiobook. And I think by the end of the week, I'll be able to film a little wrap up of all of Dua Lipa's favorite books, kind of get an idea of where her inspiration comes from. So I'll check in in a bit. So it's been about two months since I first recorded the intro to this video, but I did it. I read these books, um, plus two more-ish. We'll get to it. Y'all... This one was a real struggle for me. I'm sorry to say, Miss Dula Peep. Um, okay, let me, let me rewind, let me rewind here. Going into this, two of the books I have read already. So I knew going into it kind of what to expect because the two books that I read already, I have a lot of thoughts of mostly negative. So I'm going to save those for a little bit later. I'm going to start with some highlights. So the first book I read specifically for this challenge was Queenie by Candace Cardi Williams. I actually really enjoyed this book. This is a book all about a young black woman who lives in London. Um, and it's kind of about her making bad decisions and kind of learning what her flaws are and how her decisions affect the people around her. It's a very nice like coming of age story that takes place in London. And I think that's why Dua Lipa would really like this book. It says some things about race. It says things about being a woman, being a young woman and kind of just coming of age. And I thought it was really cute. It was really fun. This was definitely my favorite of everything in this challenge, I think. I think that Dua Lipa really likes this one because it is so relatable, so now. Such a nice story for younger millennials or older Gen Z. Yeah, and it was just great fun. So 
the thing about Dua Lipa's reading list that I discovered is she is definitely very literary. And I think more of what I want to say is about all of these books as a whole. But I'm just going to go through the other ones quickly. Um, the Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. I should hold it on this side so you can see it. Um, this is a book about the Underground Railroad, and it's a series on Amazon now. You can watch it. I didn't realize that that was happening at the time when I started this video and this challenge. Um, but it's out now. You can watch the series. Apparently, it's very good. I might start to watch it this weekend. We'll see. I have a lot of other things I want to watch this weekend, too. Um, that's besides the point. This is a Pulitzer Prize winner. It's very highly acclaimed. It's very well written. It's a great adventure. It's a great story about slavery. I didn't think it was anything that special, though. I'm not sure what this book says that hasn't already been said before. And I think these kind of stories are important, and we should have as many of them as we can. But in terms of standing out, I guess I would say, this one didn't really stand out for me. All right, so those were the two that I enjoyed the most. Um, so Dua Lipa's other three favorite books, I'm going to say here, we have next Sally Rooney, Normal People, which seems to show up on every celebrity reading list. Sorry if the, um, the birds outside are being so noisy right now. Um, it's a very relatable novel to uh it's similar to queenie it's relatable to millennials and gen z i did not like normal people it's been um probably a year year and a half since i first read it so I, it's not that fresh in my memory maybe i need to give it a second chance i think i still want to read conversations with friends eventually give sally rooney another chance and she has her new book coming out later this year as well but I don't like normal people. I found a lot of what it had to say kind of problematic. I did not like how it talked about abuse and how it talked about kink. And for the most part, I thought it was just kind of like blah. Like, why does this exist? Nothing's happening in this book. What's the point? But uh, there's a lot of normal people fans out there. So please let me know if you love it. What do you like about it? What am I missing? I did watch most of the TV series, and I actually like the TV series better than the book, I remember. I don't remember. I think I did finish the TV series. And I did like it better than the book. Um, but yeah, the book just wasn't for me. We read it. I read it in a book club. This was like very beginning of the pandemic. A bunch of friends and I were like, let's start a book club. We'll like get together once a month over Zoom and like talk about books and... I think Normal People was either our first or second book that we chose for the book club, and we all hated it, except for one person, and it was pretty funny. Anyway, Dua Lipa likes this book, apparently. Um, another book she likes that I have very, very complicated feelings about is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. This is a lot of people's favorite book. I am fascinated by this book. I've read it twice now. Um, if you haven't read this book, it's about a group of four friends who live in New York. It mainly follows one of them named Jude and his life of kind of horrible, horrible things happening to him all the time. Um, this is like, I don't know, booktube lore at this point. Everyone has a little life reading vlog. I have big plans to eventually get all of my thoughts on A Little Life into a video. But for now, I just want to say this is apparently Dua Lipa's, one of her like top books of all time. But A Little Life to me is kind of trauma porn. And the thing that really fascinates me about A Little Life is not so much the book itself, but how people react to it and kind of the fandom that's built around this book and why people love it so much, and the way people show how much they love this book is very bizarre to me. I want to do a deep dive on this later. Um, stay tuned for that. Um, but this is one of Dua Lipa's favorite books as well, and I think it's interesting to pick a book like this because I think 
in terms of like writing music from a place that you haven't necessarily had a lot of experience. Dua Lipa's very young. She's lived a relatively privileged life. Um, reading something like this can be inspiring for song lyrics about other struggles. I don't know. I don't know Dua Lipa's life that much. That being said, apparently her all-time favorite book is my last one from this challenge. What is your favorite book and why? My favorite book is The Unbearable Lightness of Being. It's a very complicated love story and it's a brilliant book and everyone should read it. I got this as an audiobook. I listened to it uh, about a week ago and I couldn't make it more than 10% in. I had to stop listening. This was the worst book I've ever experienced in my life. It is extremely pretentious. It is just ridiculous. It's a book all about like a man cheating on his wife and it kind of uses philosophy and other like literary devices to kind of prove how noble he is for cheating. I don't, I didn't like it. It made me angry. It was dumb. It didn't need to be so philosophical. Um, this is a book to make people think that they're smart for enjoying this book. You just say, hey, read this book. It's going to make your brain hurt. You're not going to understand what's going on. But by the end of it, you're going to think you're like really enlightened about something stupid. Not to be a judgmental person if you enjoyed this book, but I, I couldn't stand it. Maybe it gets better after 10%. I don't know. I couldn't keep going. This is apparently Dua Lipa's favorite book. Don't read it. It came out in the, in the 80s. It's time has come, it's time has passed. We are better than this now. We don't need to put ourselves through feeling stupid in order to feel good about ourselves. Anyway, this collection of books as a whole and Dua Lipa's other like posts about books she puts on social media. I've seen a lot like on her Instagram story, she talks about books a lot. Um, I think Dua Lipa is actually like a very literary person, is very in the loop about books that are popular and not necessarily like just like general like pop culture, but like is actually like probably reading some book blogs in some literary circles. Um, a Little Life is really popular, but I think it's really popular just in the bookish community, not necessarily in the world at large. Um, Normal people ending up on this list was a bit like questionable for me, but um, I do believe that she has read all these books. I don't think that her favorite books list was just created by PR companies. All of the books that she's chosen do have some sort of political commentary. So I think she is a very insightful, woke person. She knows what's up with the world and she likes a deeper analysis of these things, which I think is really, cool that Dua Lipa does prioritize learning more about the world and other people's experiences, which you got to give her credit for that. Even if these books weren't for me, all of them, um, I'm really glad that Dua Lipa is a reader because that's really cool to me. Anyway, that's my reaction to re um, Dua Lipa's favorite books. This video was a real struggle for me to make, mostly because I didn't really like any of the books, but I love Dua Lipa. I'm gonna keep on dancing to her music, maybe not listen to more of her book recommendations in the future, but like, I'm gonna pay attention, see what's in the loop. There, there might be something good in there. Yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite Dua Lipa song is. Let me know if there's any other celebrities with good reading lists that you think I might like. Um, and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.